Good evening, and thanks for joining us for First News at 11. I'm Molly Reed. After a federal court allowed YSU defensive lineman Malik Richmond to play this afternoon, he entered the game in the third quarter. Richmond, who was found guilty of rape as a juvenile, sued Youngstown State earlier this week. School officials had said he couldn't play this season following protests that broke out when people caught wind Richmond was on the team. As 27 First News reporter Cameron O'Brien found out public opinion on the matter is still very strong. She's our top story tonight. Despite the controversy surrounding Malik Richmond, no one here today at Stambaugh Stadium was willing to talk to me about him. I spent about an hour and a half in the tailgate lot today. And when I walked up to people, they would walk away from me preemptively, saying that they had no interest in talking about Malik Richmond. When I did ask people about Malik, they would say that they had no comment or they would just get up and walk away from me. But the truth is, is that they did have a comment, just not on camera. When I talked to people off camera, many of them said that they didn't want Richmond to play. Others said that they thought he should. Many people told me that they could see it from both sides, but they weren't gonna comment on it publicly. And that's because they say that this case detracts from the glory of the Penguins YSU football team. They say that the energy that was created from last year's winning streak needs to be maintained. And bringing Malik's controversy into that is going to completely detract from it. So the bottom line is that people do have feelings here at Stambaugh Stadium about Malik Richmond and his ability to play for the Penguins football team. But they're not going to say it in public. And they're not going to tell me about it either. At Stambaugh Stadium, Cameron O'Brien. WKBN 27 First News. Well, it was a big win at home for the Penguins today. They crushed Central Connecticut State 59 to 9. During a post-game press conference, Coach Bellini remained vague about his feelings on Richmond. Instead, he spoke about the team as a whole. Yeah, we, I think everybody that was eligible to play played. So, you know, that's a good thing. Because kids, you know, they put a lot of work in. It's good to see everybody get rewarded like that. The Penguins have a bye week next week, then they'll suit up to play conference teams.